Every single day just stays the same Wake up, feel the emptiness of face Wash away the pain and put some makeup on my face Every single day just stays the same I don't really care and it's a shame I know I had it coming and I don't care to explain Why should I? So as you can hear, I'm absolutely blowing. That was this morning's uh, high intensity workout. It's Pamela's. I'll make sure I leave a link down to that in the description box below if you wanna go and absolutely kill yourself first thing in the morning. Feel great already after that though, but I'm just gonna finish off with a few leg exercises and that'll wrap up Friday's session. Today, I've got a day of shooting. My manager's over and he's gonna be helping me take some photos. There's a cornfield quite local to us that we're gonna go and visit and uh, hopefully do something like an editorial shoot, which I'm really looking forward to. But I just wanted to bring you along this morning's workout because I knew that it was gonna be a rough and ready, dirty session. I'm sweating, which weirdly, I don't sweat as often as I probably should in the gym, but when you're just doing non-stop 15 minutes here, you are guaranteed to sweat if you're putting in that work. So, felt great, like I said, I'll leave it in the uh, description box below. We've just arrived on our location for the day. This is actually a cornfield, uh, quite local to where we live, uh, which is nice and convenient. I've got James over by the car. He is gonna be cameraman today. Like I said earlier, uh, it's gonna be incredible to have a helping hand and uh, get creative. And ultimately, hopefully, be a lot more efficient and faster on location. So yeah, we're gonna get busy now do some shots I'm gonna stick you guys on a time lapse after we finish shooting I'll go through some of the shots that we've created so you can see what we've been getting up to today welcome to the vlog James it's good to have you back huh? it's good to have you back James. <laughs> so as you can see behind me right here is some of the shots that we took yesterday when we were out on location in that cornfield and I'm really really happy with how they turned out. We've ended up with probably 20 images that I can pick from and the goal was to have two. So a very successful shoot, it means that I'm gonna be able to turn the images into a blog post, I'm gonna be able to share more on Instagram and also we managed to film a little bit of footage for YouTube as well as TikTok as well, which is great.
out, so maybe it'll go onto there, but we shall see. Either way, a very successful day. It's actually the morning after, because yesterday after we had shot, we came back, got showered, because you do get a little bit rashy in those fields, like when you're moving around in between the corn, you do get a little bit irritated on the skin, so do watch out for that if you're heading into a cornfield. But anyway, we went out last night with Carrie and Lids to some local pub gardens to where we live. It was really lovely, actually. Consumed a reasonable amount of alcohol but I don't feel too bad this morning which is great so uh, I thought I'd quickly show you some of the pictures off the back of the camera that we got yesterday and then Lids and I are just about to head out to a reclamation yard and also a garden centre let's take a look at some bits of the house so this is uh, one of the shots from yesterday's shoot which come out really nicely I kind of enjoy the kind of like jungle Amazon vibes I'm getting from this not that I've ever been <laughs> but <laughs> They're yeah, all shot in raw as well, so they'll take a little bit of time to load. Uh, this is just another one of me um, above. And then we went down below, so we were beneath and within the corn, which was uh, just getting different perspectives. And uh, as I spoke recently in one of my blog posts, just trying to like create more of a immersive experience for people to kind of like feel like they're within that environment. So that was that, and then uh, we actually shot quite a few, look over here, these are my short selects um, and then I changed outfits and uh, got some really nice shots in a different jacket which I'm really happy with so this was a little creative shoot that I did with a mirror so I have that little bad boy there I also went for a mirror selfie <laughs> and then we just did some other shots in this jacket uh, just so uh, it wasn't too samey throughout and then we went all naturel, I whipped off all of my clothes and got them <laughs> amongst the corn. So yeah, we just played around and got a couple of variations. So yeah, I've got some cool Instagram photos. These all need editing up, like I said, uh, which I'll get busy with soon. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd quickly share with you. So getting all creative with leaf over the eye. You know the old leaf over the eye shot? Very arty. If I do manage to edit any before this video go live, then I'll pop them in now. So yeah, like I said, we're just about to head out and uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along with, so let's get busy. So, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so Lindsay and I have just arrived to the reclamation yard. Yeah. I've really struggled to say that word. I keep on saying reclamate, reclamation, reclamation. Anyway, <laughs> we've arrived to the reclamation yard and as you can see, we have our masks on because it's now in the guidelines that when you go into public places and stores and stuff that you need to be wearing a mask. But please don't take my advice on any of the governing guidelines. Make sure that you go to your government or your local authority for those guidelines because the rules change quicker than I can get my YouTube videos out. At this moment in time, it is uh, a guideline to wear your mask so that is exactly what we are doing but we're gonna head in now take a look around it's a little bit miserable and it is predominantly outside so it's gonna be interesting but I'm gonna spin you around you can see lots of old stone lovely so we timed our arrival impeccably little drizzle has just fallen Jesus Miserable. It doesn't look like it's slowing down at all. Absolutely cane it down. I've actually just had some lightning. Can we just take a moment to look at your seat. I know, I'm just about to put it back. Yeah, I think that needs to go back, way back. You know when it was from? Yeah, from when I went and collected the Cedral clad and stuff. Oh. I moved it forward. I anyway, it's from the, uh, orange tree. so we've just been to the garden centre and uh, it's kind of like the closest thing to a place like Burford that's near to us. I didn't realise how similar it was to yeah. Burford, Burford actually. We've got focaccia. Ooh. We've stocked up on some of our favourite sauces from, is it Truck Elements? I don't know. Yeah, I think so, something like that. And uh, we have a brown sauce, barbecue sauce and tomato. Oh no, we don't. Um, and then we've got some of our Snowdonia cheeses that we really like. This is the smoked mature, but there's also a whiskey one. There we go. So this is the mature cheddar with whiskey. Uh, I've got a couple of new bird feeders that have 
compartments that are slightly more suited to sunflower seeds, which is what I feed them. So they're getting spoiled. And then we've gone for some barrel aged balsamic vinegar, which I'm very excited about. Mm. So we're going to have that and the bread this evening, and then we're going to get a takeaway. I think we should have a snack. This should be our snack when we yeah. get back, and then order a takeaway order later. A takeaway. And then we're going to have a cozy night in front of the fire watching a movie. Oh, yeah. Because it is miserable today, everybody. Look. Anyway, I'm going to get traveling back. Yeah. So we're just enjoying the new uh, balsam and this focaccia and you better believe that we are eating that whole loaf between us. <laughs> You're so sweet, Lummy. I've just come upstairs to check on her. you still got your little crackly meow, haven't you? You're not feeling your best self. You've been burning the candle at both ends. In and out all night long. She's caught herself on a rose bush as well. You're a silly little girl. Little explorer. So I thought before I get settled down for the evening with lids, I'm gonna get the birds their feed out because as always, they've absolutely demolished it. Uh, so I'm going to fill these two up. It's very miserable out there today, it's cold, so they should be fed. Whilst we sit and relax in comfort, they can be looked after as well. sunflower seeds. Good to go. This evening, Lids and I have decided to go for a takeaway. No surprises for what you went for, babe. Yeah. What did you say to me when I ordered it without asking you what you wanted? <laughs> Lids was like, have you ordered the Indian? I was like, yeah, I've already ordered it. It's, I've already paid for it, it's on its way. How do you know what I want? I was like, because ever since we've been together, you have never diverted from the same order. And she went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right. It's an easy one. The rug in the lounge has finally been removed. Hasn't it? Yeah. I didn't vlog it, but it doesn't really look any difference in here, to be honest with you, because the rug was the same colour as the carpet before. But yeah, it's just, if anything, it's helped give a little bit of height and made it more minimal because the rug had detail on it. But yeah, that's now gone. And we're gonna sit down and watch a movie. I'm not sure what we're gonna watch, but once we do, I'll watch it, let you know what we watched and what we thought of it.
So we decided to watch The Upside that's got Kevin Hart and who's the other actor? Oh, what's his name? I just had it up. Ryan Cranston. Yes, that's it. And uh, it's based on a true story. It was a 2017 release and we really enjoyed it, didn't we? Oh, I loved it. It only got like 42% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which uh, is a website that's normally quite accurate. Google gave it a ranking of 90% enjoying the video, uh, yeah. the film, which I would say is probably more accurate. Um, I can't see how people would be like, that was a terrible film. I think... It was a nice film yeah. to watch. Hello, Lummy. Oh, <laughs> little oh, meow. Yeah. Wow, she's actually a true granny meow now. You are, we've manifested you into the, yeah. the granny meow. Welcome home. They say, if you believe it enough, that it, it, will, it will happen. happen. <laughs> you should have been doing it for a million pounds, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> granny meow is dead. Oh, so anyway, I thought it was a really nice film. It's two hours long, it's worth a nice Friday, Saturday evening, uh, sit down to watch, I think. I don't think that you're wasting your time watching that one. I think there's some nice underlining messages in there as well about life. So, yeah. <laughs> um, we are gonna hit the sack. What time is it? It must be about 11 o'clock. I feel tired. 12. Nearly 12, yeah, yeah. midnight. I just thought I'd quickly update you on the film, give you a little. Gordon's thoughts? No, we've gone from Mill and Gordon to Gordon. Okay. No. But yeah, anyway, I'm tired. We need to get ready for bed. So. A busy day tomorrow. We have. Really? There's the cladding, the trees, there's stuff. There's other things as well. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, we'll be seeing you next Wednesday, same time, same place. I hope you all have a great week and we'll be catching you soon. Peace. She's a little spoiled moo moo. A mountain of coconut oil. Good for your throat.